Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today I have a special treat for you. It is June 1st and I have a blog hop with the Stamping Society. Now this blog hop is themed with new pre-order products. So that means that each of us in the blog hop choose whichever products we got to order as Stampin' Up! demonstrators early from the new catalog that goes live on June 3rd. I chose the Forever Fern stamp set along with the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. I pulled in some dies from the Birds and Blooms die set and I'm super excited to show you a gorgeous project with this. Let's flip the camera around. I'll give you all the details about the private video tutorial that you get when you place an order with me or you can purchase the PDF. So today I am featuring some brand new product. You're going to get a sneak peek at some gorgeous paper and some beautiful stamp sets and some fabulous dies. This is all part of the Stamping Society blog hop. Now, the Stamping Society is a group of designers, Stampin' Up! demonstrators from across the world. And we always feature a project that we're going to share with you on our blog hop. And then we have another whole set of projects that are exclusive with video tutorials for each one. How do you get a hold of those? You can purchase them for $7. It's a PDF file with exclusive videos, written instructions, dimensions, photographs, beautiful projects, or when you place an order with me during the month of June, you will get this PDF file with all these exclusive beautiful projects for free. So today, I am featuring the brand new for every Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. And look at how gorgeous this is. This paper is just stunningly beautiful. I love the colors. And of course, Forever Greenery really says it's all about the green stuff, right? We're going to be using this to make a beautiful card. Now, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or discount shopper, if you join my team, you get all the benefits of a demonstrator. You get to pre-order some product from the brand new catalog that's going to be available June 3rd. Yay! So I decided to use the Forever Fern stamp set and it also coordinates and is part of the suite with the Forever Greenery designer series paper. And then I'm pulling in the Tasteful Label dies for my sentiment layer. And I'm going to give you a little touch of the Birds and More dies to go with that. So while I'm using a whole bunch of stuff here, you're just going to get to see a nice array of some of the new products. This is a great sneak peek because it's got a lot of stuff in it. So I'm going to be using this particular die, this die from the Birds in Bloom, that should be Birds and More. It's going to take me a while to get used to these. So these two are from the Birds and More, and then I'll show those to you because there's some really interesting, interesting elements in here. We've got this beautiful die, and I just happened to have cut this from that as I was designing cards today. We've got a bunch of birds, some eggs, there's a nest in here, all kinds of great stuff. This is where my leaf die and my edgelet are coming from, the birds and more. And then the tasteful label dies are all of these labels. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna die cut this label on a whisper white scrap. And then I'm going to use my edgelet and I'm going to die cut it on a gold foil strip. Now this is six by one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this edgelet on here and I'm going to leave about mm, kind of a quarter of an inch 
on the edge right here because it's not going to cut that edge. It's only going to cut out the leaf edge. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. And then I'm going to take the leaves and I'm going to die cut some gold foil leaves. Now the rest of my layers here that I have, this is the Forever Green Read Designer Series Paper. And aren't those just really rich, beautiful colors? We've got some succulents and some ferns on there. The coordinating colors for this paper is Garden Green. This is our brand new in color Just Jade. Pear Pizzazz, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, Soft Sea Foam, and Whisper White. So I'm gonna use a Jaded Spruce card base. This is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. We can fold that and burnish that edge right away. And then I've got a layer of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter for the inside. And then the beautiful paper, this is three by five and a half. Okay, so I'm going to die cut all of these elements in my die cutting machine and I will be right back. All right, so I've got my leaves here. I've also got this piece. And like I said, I left about a quarter of an inch on the straight edge, and then the rest of this is what I'm going to use on my card. So I'll show you that in just a second. We're gonna take and stamp our sentiment. I'm going to grab this beautiful succulent looking plant from the Forever Fern. I'm going to stamp that in the Pear Pizzazz ink and then I'm going to stamp off once before I stamp this right on my label and I just wanted that to be a little lighter and then I'm going to grab my Memento Black ink pad and then I've got the sentiment here that says to a friend that makes me smile. There's some really beautiful fonts in here. You can do this, hello, love and laughter, forever after, and then the one that we're going to use. And I just wanted um, a card with a sentiment on it that I could use for anybody. And look at how pretty that is. I love the leaves on there, and again, by stamping off, you're not taking away or making it too busy. It's just a little bit lighter. And then for my inside layer, I thought that the shaded spruce would be a really pretty color, and I'm just going to add my greenery right to that edge and look at how beautiful that is. It almost looks real. These are such beautiful stamps. So shaded spruce on the inside. I've got pear pizzazz on my label, this layer. And now I think, oh look at I just smudged ink on there. Don't you hate it when that happens? Where's the ink? Right there. It was right on my finger. Let's try that again. I'm gonna get a little bit more of the leaves on here this time. Yep, love it. Okay, we're not gonna to touch it now. We're gonna let it sit. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. All right, now I'm gonna take this three by five and a half inch layer of designer series paper, and I'm going to add that to the front left side of my card. You want to make sure your succulents are right side up, not up, whoops, upside down too, because I'm good for doing stuff like that. It just seems like if you're familiar with Murphy's Law, it happens <laughs> a lot. Now this piece is really simple to put on here. Let me make sure this is straight. Yes, it is. I'm just going to add a little line of glue right next to my designer series paper. Now I'm watching the edge down here on this layer. And I'm going to butt that right up against the designer series paper. You also want to make sure you don't have any glue on your fingers because if you get it on the foil paper, it's not really very attractive. <laughs> just a little tip there. Ask me how I know that. Now I'm just going to snip that little edge off and also this little edge down here. 
There we go. Look how pretty that is. Okay, now for this, I'm going to chop this all up. So I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to cut it right here. And then I'm going to cut these two apart just like that. On the back of our layer, I'm going to use some tape. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to tape this right down here. I just want that, whoops, let's get both of them in here. I'm going to tape that there. I'm going to take this other long piece and I'm going to put it right over here. And I'm going to catch both of these with a piece of tape. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. Then we've got this little piece that we snipped off. And I am going to add that right up here to the front. Now I shouldn't have any errors making this card because I just made a bunch of them for a swap and I'm so happy with the way, whoops, do you see my tape sticking out there? That's not okay. Let's, let's get rid of that. I didn't mean for that to happen. There we go. Well, it's still sticking out there. What did I do? Watch me cut my, there we go. Okay, okay, there's our little leaf sticking off the top up there. And then another thing I wanted to bring in was the Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. And this is all part of the suite. Look at this beautiful ribbon. I just love this. It's a weaved ribbon, but it's very loosely weaved. So we've got that. And then we've got this gold twine, and I absolutely love this. And I thought just a really kind of an interesting look would be just to take, whoops, a piece of this. And this is, I don't know, probably about four inches long. Let me get some more light in here. This unwinds really easily. So you can see that I've frayed the edges, or the ends, I mean. I'm just going to take another piece of tape. And I'm going to add this in with my leaves. Just like that. That's all I'm doing. And it's kind of an interesting look with your leaves coming out from behind those. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. Now I'm going to grab some dimensionals here. And we're going to load this layer up so it's got good support. You get a lot of dimensionals in a pack. So don't be afraid to use a bunch of them if you need to. Now I'm going to flip this over and add this right to the front of my layer. And now one more thing I wanted to add is some of our gilded gems. And I just thought the gold and the gold would look really, really pretty on here. And here's our inside. Now, you know what else would be neat? Hang tight. I just thought of this. Wouldn't this look neat on here if we just added a little strip? I've got some leftover pieces of the gold foil, and I'm just going to add this strip to the inside of my layer. And oh my gosh, that's going to be so striking when they open this up. And I'm just going to leave a little white border on the side. Make sure that I got it straight. Snip that off. Oh, isn't that spectacular? I like this a lot. Here we go. Wow. Very, very pretty. What do you guys think? I think I love it. And as long as we're making something so gorgeous, I think we should definitely add some of these. just to the outside. Wow. Spectacular. Yeah, and here's what a ton of these look like. <laughs> like I've got a ton of them. These are going in the mail, sending those off for a swap, and I can't wait to share what I get back from that swap because it is going to be filled with just some gorgeous things to share with you. Okay, you guys, now if you would like to place an order, you're going to find my host code right here. 
That's the host code for any orders that you might place that are under a hundred and fifty dollars. If your order's over $150, do not use that code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I want you to have those. Remember, June 3rd, these products are available. Forever Fern Tasteful Label Dies. Let me get this one back in here. Birds and More Dies. Where did my, here's my edgelet and the leaf that I used. The Forever Fern, Forever Greenery. These were the Forever Greenery Twin Trim Combo Pack. Gilded Gems, you can get right now. This is part of the Ornate Garden Suite. We can get those right now. And the new Just Jade In Color cardstock and all that stuff is going to be available. So make sure you click right up here. That's going to take you over to my blog where you can join in the Stamping Society blog hop. We're all featuring sneak peeks of our favorite pre-order items. So you're going to get a great variety of different projects on there using all the stuff that we were able to pre-order as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And remember, you can pre-order early from the new catalogs too if you join my team as a discount shopper. If you have any questions about that, pop me an email right here at kelly at estampabove.com. Don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out, especially with a new catalog just around the corner. I'm so excited. Remember, June 3rd is our big date. Catalog goes live. You're going to be able to see the entire catalog in a PDF format online. If you have placed a minimum $50 order with me in the last six months, you should have a catalog in your mailbox. So that's exciting too. And thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. Happy June. Bye-bye.